Hey everyone, uh, the match has just finished. Uh, Wolves falling to a disappointing 2-1 uh, defeat against Burnley at Turf Moor. The Turf Moor hoodoo continues. Wolves not beating them uh, there since 2010. Before I get on to the game, I just want to take this opportunity to wish you and your family, wherever you are in the world, a very merry uh, Christmas and a safe, obviously, Christmas as well, uh, wherever you are in the world. Just want to get that in. Um, so on to the game itself. I'm feeling a little bit flat, uh, to be honest. Um, it's You just don't know at the moment which Wolves team are, uh, are going to turn up. Obviously, that scintillating performance against Chelsea, the disappointment against Villa. We've had games like against West Ham, then against Crystal Palace, where we played really well. Um, and today, I, I just think we've got out-battled, out-fought, and Burnley wanted it more. I will say that I think that we've missed, uh, obviously, Bolly at the centre of the defence. I don't know why, if Bolly's on the bench, why he's not starting. Um, and then Donka is such an underrated player for Wolves. When he's not in the team, we just don't seem to function. And I really hope that his injury is not too bad, because without him in the team, we just... I don't know, it just doesn't seem to quite work, does it? I thought Neves was absolutely dreadful tonight. He had that one shot, which was more Neves-like towards the end. He was so good against Arsenal as well. And it's hard, really, to come about some, uh, about some positives. But let's go back to the start of the game. I thought uh, it was interesting that Nuno went with a 3-5-2 formation. It obviously studied Burnley. Burnley are no mugs uh, at this level. Um... They've got a way of system, they've got players back and they know how they play. We always knew it was going to be a tough, physical game. And that's why I say losing Bolly and Dendonka is a big loss. He did play with the 3 by 3 He put uh, Otisawi in. He was a big, built, young lad. Had a great game against um, uh, Arsenal. But I think this game was a little bit too far for him. He never really got to grips with the game. You could see the tactic from Wolves early on. Um... Pedence and Neto out on the side. Otto saw so with late runs, but we never got the delivery. And obviously he was there for defending set pieces. We dealt with it early doors. We had one scare where they hit the ball over the top where uh, I think it was Ashley Barnes should have scored. Uh, Patricio made a good save and that was the warning sign. Burnley literally lumping the ball as often as they could be upfield or into the box. Letting Wolves have to try and deal with it, looking for the knockdowns and the breaks or a foul. And, um, you know, we just got caught, didn't we? I mean, that, that one ball, when he got to the byline, limped it up and it was headed home. You know, and then the, the second goal in the second half. Again, a ball crossfield, we didn't deal with it. Samedo is becoming, for me, an issue at that uh, right wing-back position. Uh, I know he was pushing upfield for the... Um, for the first goal uh, and we, we lost the ball but again it's come down that side and we've not dealt with it Burnley have hit the bar they've had a uh, Rui's had to make a couple of good saves they could have been further in front at half time I, I personally could see that it wasn't working I think most of us could see it wasn't working I was really hoping that Nuno would change the formation maybe to a 3-4-3 three, three, um or what he did later on when we changed for back four to try and get us more control in the final third of the uh, of the, the thing. And I wanted, I thought it was screaming out for Traore to come on. Um, it was that type of game. He didn't do it. He waited, and we conceded the second goal. They were right on us at the start. The second goal was a killer goal, really. Um, Traore's come on. Fabio Silva's come on. I thought Traore. Really, when he came on, was things started happening for us. He started to create the space, sucking people in. We were getting the crosses in. Um, and eventually, we got a penalty. Uh, Fabio Silva gets a bit of stick, young lad. Um, he's come on. His control's good. He's earned the penalty. The lad has stood up. £35 million price tag on him for a young lad. He's had... Uh, the balls to go up and take that penalty and he's put it away and fair play to him for doing that. That will hopefully do him a lot of good. But Burnley, you cannot say, I don't think any Wolves fan can say they haven't deserved it. They have out-battled us, out-thought us, um, out-fought us and they seem to have wanted it more and our midfield just has not ticked tonight. Martino's done his best, Neves wasn't on it. 
the the back three look fragile uh, to the aerial bombardment bomb bombardment uh, Neto's had flashes. I thought Pedenza's had some flashes as well, but there just wasn't that extra player until we changed the formation. But it was too little, too late. Right at the end, Troyer has got another cross across, uh, and Soyis has tried to go for a worldie when he, all he had to do was knock it back across goal. There was two or three Wolves players inside the six-yard box to tap it in. If he'd have got the ball through, it would have been an equaliser. He didn't do it. The chance was gone, and that's football. Um, Am I surprised? No. Am I disappointed? Yes. Would it surprise me if Wolves go and beat Tottenham in the next game? No. That would be typical Wolves. It's going to be one of those seasons, guys, where, you know, I don't think we're going to have to worry anything about getting drawn into a relegation battle. Um, and I do think it's going to be a tall shot for us to get Europe and finish in the top seven again this season. It's possible if we put a string of runs, but we're so inconsistent and when we get injuries Raul's out Johnny Otto's out then Donker's injured Bolly didn't start and when you start to get through that the squad is very thin and as Nuno said we need to rebalance the squad in January and I don't just think that's a, a striker um, I think we probably need a, another midfielder in there I uh, can't wait for Johnny Otto to be back I would love to see Hoover given a chance uh, Samedo He's okay, but all he doesn't seem comfortable to me. And I think he needs to be taken out the firing line, personally. And it was interesting that Marcel didn't start tonight. I don't understand why, because he's been solid. Aiden Ori didn't do enough to me. The rating for the performance tonight, I'm going to have to struggle to give it a five. I think I'm only giving it five because it's Christmas. I'm a man of the match. Do you know what? It wasn't on for most of the game, but he he made the difference when he came up. And yeah, I did say he deserved to be put onto the bench, but Troyori probably when he came on made all the difference for me. Really want to interesting to see your thoughts and how you're feeling on about this game. What what are you rating it out of ten? And who was your man of the match? Disappointing result uh, for Wolves. Not what we want to do going into Christmas, but you know it's. That's football. Fair play to Burnley. They deserved it. The only positives that I can take out of it tonight, Fabio Silva scoring his first goal, and we've made it a little bit more difficult for the baggies to get out of the relegation zone. And we've got Agent Sam Allardyce on that as well, taking them down. So until the next one, which will be the international fan reaction, look out for that because it's going to be a little bit festive from, uh, from the guys around the world. I'm Dazzling Dave. Always Wolves.